Uh -oh. We are coming to you live from TD Garden in Boston for a prime time showdown between two of the hottest teams in the association. Let's take a look at this week's hits of style brought to you by Sprite Ginger. James Harden, always doing something. This is an extremely large poncho puffer, guys. That's what we're going to call it. When you lead the league with 35 points a game, you can wear anything you want. That looks like, I guess. that, that I mean, should be Shaq's. I mean, I don't know. That's very, it's very big. Russell Westbrook rocking some. Westbrook looks like he's ready to get on Soul Train. Maybe that's what he's doing after this game. You don't know, Paul. <laughs> Hey, he groovy. When you doing what Westbrook doing, you can wear what you want too, huh? He has been attacking the rim. He's scoring 20 a game in the paint since the first of the year. He's and we got Jason Tatum too. No one has been hotter since the All-Star break right. than him. He's Good. averaging 35 per game over his last five. He's shooting 58% from the floor, guys. No matter where you he's go, figured it out like a ball. Yeah, it's, it's fun to watch. Yep. You play like that, you can wear whatever you want. I am Rachel Nichols. I am alongside a former Rocket and a former Celtic here tonight. We've got the Hall of Famer, Mr. Tracy McGrady. Back in the house. And the man who has his number 34 right above us in the rafters here, 2008 Finals MVP, <laughs> There it Paul is. Good to be home. Pierce. It's good to be home. Man, that looks good up there. By the guys. way, Paul, ladies and gentlemen, Paul knows everybody in the building. I know everybody in here. He's Straight been up. the mayor <laughs> since we got here. He's been greeting the security guards. Everybody. The fans who sit in the front row, the ball kids. Everybody oh, will get a piece of Paul before the end of tonight, and so will you. Now, guys, these two teams faced off on February 11th. That was just right after the Rockets debuted this micro ball lineup. And they won that one pretty handily, 116 to 105. Harden and Westbrook were cooking. They combined for 78 points, 18 rebounds, 12 assists, and they have not lost a game since. So, Paul, we know how Brad Stevens is once mm -hmm. he gets a little game film now to work with. Yes. What changes do you think the Celtics are going to make now that they have this second time up against this Rockets lineup? Um, just an attitude adjustment. And with the way that Jason Tatum is playing, I mean, he's playing like a true superstar. And plus, they're going to be at home. I think they really match up well with the Rockets. They have forwards who can handle the ball. They're fast. They're athletic. Uh, they can switch on defense. They got to get back in transition one and stop Russ. So if they could contain him, get some homecoming, let their defense settle uh, in the half court, then they got a great chance of winning this ball club game. Yeah, I think um, from a defensive standpoint, they're going to have to be solid. Um, if Tice is going to play, he's going to have to really play great individual defense with this small lineup because that's what they like to do. They like to exploit the mismatch and go at that guy. So if he's going to be on the court, he's got to play some great individual defense because now you got shooters all around the perimeter. You don't have a big man in the paint now. So he's going to have to be able to close out the shooters, defend one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, But I, I think in order for them to win this game, they got to go five power for five bar. It's got to be small ball. They got to go small ball across the board and let's see how it, it uh, matches up with the Rockets. So you don't buy in that they should go big early, try to beat, we saw P.J. Tucker there no. for a minute, try to beat him up a little bit and then go small at the so end? The, so if they have a big man that really can give them some great low post presence and who's physical down there, then mm -hmm. yes, I'll say go big. But if you have a guy that you throw the ball down there and you're not getting any production out of him, then you have but to go the you Lakers, have to play small I ball. I mean, the, the Celtics small ball lineup is bigger than the Rockets small I ball lineup. <laughs> and so they match up very well. When you look across the board at Jason Tatum, Brown, 6'8", 6'8", Hayward, 6'8", 6'9", I mean, they're like I said, they're bigger already in their small ball well, lineup. I like what you said earlier. Jason Tatum is the adjustment. He's I caught the adjustment. up with Jason at practice today as he was prepping for this game. Take a listen. So Jason, you were good at the beginning of the season, but then you just took off right near the beginning of January. Your teammate Jalen Brown said he thought it had something to do with you being named the All-Star team. I think maybe you were bit by a radioactive spider. Well, which is it? <laughs> uh, I, I do feel like some pressure was, was let off after naming uh, an All-Star. Um, you know, I was thinking about it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but once I once I was named an all-star, it kind of was like I could just take a deep breath and, and relax, and I uh, didn't have to worry about it anymore. So um, you know, just feel a lot more comfortable now. What does it feel like for you, especially in clutch time toward the end of a tight game? What do you want to be able to do? Uh, I want to be able to just to make the right play. Um, you know, I, I love taking the, the big shot in those clutch moments. Uh, you know, I don't I don't get nervous. Uh, you know, I, I get excited during those times. It's the, it's the moment you live for. 
I love that. I don't get nervous. Ooh, I get excited. Yeah. That is what That's you want to hear. You Thank you to Jason for that. We're going to take a quick break, but stay with us. When we come back, you'll see my conversation with James Harden. He calls himself the best player in the world, talks Rockets title chances. You're going to want to stick around for that. Man, what are we doing, man? What's going on? Exactly. What are we doing, man? What kind of, who set the dunk contest up, man? Who set this up? I don't even know who gave me the nines. I'm gonna find them. I don't know. Um, who's running the show? I feel like I, I should have two trophies. But I jumping over somebody 7'5 and dunking it, there's no easy feat, you know what I mean? So, um, what I get, like a 47? Yeah, 47. 47. Uh, come on, man. What are we doing? What are we doing, man? <sighs> One of the judges, WNBA legend and 2004 McDonald's All-American dunk contest champion Candace Parker took to social media. She felt she had to defend herself from pro-Gordon sympathizers. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's hitting me about the dunk contest, I gave Aaron Gordon a 10. I was the one that actually voted for Aaron Gordon to win the dunk contest. I gave him a perfect through the entire... Yes, my nostrils are flaring because I'm angry. <laughs> because I'm my walking through the United Center and people are giving me ugly looks and it's not my fault. Now another judge, Common, revealed in an interview that one of the judges broke a pact uh -huh. between the judges. Uh, first team All-NBA Twitterer Worldwide Rob broke down the footage. He suspects the culprit is Dwayne Wade. Uh -huh. Because, of course, Derek Jones Jr., a member of the Miami Heat. But we oh. cannot settle for no. speculation here at the jump. And there is only one unit with Look the resources, These are the sophistication <laughs> to handle such a complex case. Steve no, hair. it is not CSI. It is not it the forensic Steve files. <laughs> it is time for the Jump Investigative Unit, better known as the JI. Oh, wow. Whoa, yes. whoa. That rolls off whoa. the tongue. Wow. Uh, she can say it. I was getting scared I was getting for it. a minute. I'm she thinking the Fed it, about to roll in here. <laughs> <laughs> that is special agent Amin Al Hassan. Scotty Pippen, <laughs> one of the dunk contest judges, is here to break down what actually went on. This is the first yes. time you're speaking publicly, Scotty. Aaron Gordon walked onto that stage at the press conference. What are we doing, man? What are we doing? Do you feel bad for him at all? Uh, yes, I, I did. You know, I was, first of all, this was the greatest dunk contest of all time. Like, give the judges a little bit of credit. <laughs> we kept this thing going That's for true. a while. That's true. Y'all kept it we on. We did a great job of really working with each other to, to <laughs> give the guys the credit that they really deserve. But, you know, in the end, somebody had to win and somebody had to lose. Um, I hate to see Aaron Gordon lose on the dunk that he did, but I did not think it was a great dunk. You didn't? The dunk was great, but, I mean, look, look. All right, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop the video. Scotty's uh, getting up. Please stop the do video. Do I need to stand up? There we go. Uh, I mean, right. Come on, man, come on. Right. I mean, and right. whoever wants to stand up, I mean, if I'm a seven <laughs> foot, All right, go ahead. I'm seven six. Right. All right. And if you jump over me, I should be still standing 7'6". Judging the video and what I was looking at, he took off a foot and a half. Uh, oh, there it is. See, see oh, that? Taco. <laughs> and that's really what happened. And I couldn't afford to give him a 10 for that. Well, but I want to take you through as we saw it unfold. Because it wasn't just you, Scotty, mm. the cameras were catching. There were many things going on. Now we oh, can roll that video, yeah, Tommy. Oh, Let's oh. see. All right, so there's Dwayne Wade. He takes out the IFB's earpiece. Candace, as she said, she was all over that dunk, right? But okay. Dwayne, and there's Scotty, uh -oh. he's, he's like, all right, what are we gonna do here? He's more rational, he's just like, all right, we're gonna see what's happened. Uh -oh. Donovan Mitchell, right? Giannis Antetokounmpo, who by the way, also said it was the best dunk contest ever. We had the faces in the crowd, yeah. Damian Lillard. <laughs> Right? There is a lot here. Taco Fall. You know what? Yes. <laughs> Even if we would have made it a tie, this was going to happen eventually. Right. Eventually, one of it, them were going to win was, or lose. It was going so long, and it was like... So was there a pact? Because that's sort of what, what Common said, was that he was under the impression that the scores were going to even out to keep them going at least one more round. Okay. Here's the truth. Let the world hear the truth. Oh, right? here we go. There was a little bit of a pack, but somehow we punched the scores in and they came up wrong. So Whoa! There were there were three flips. So Yeah, what happened? 
We just messed up. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Can you? We didn't mess up as a as a team. I mean, guys gave their honest opinion. Right. And the reality of it is, we thought we were giving them both a tie. Now, now here, here's the deal. Back into that final round. Did you did you think because your score you gave Derek Jones Jr. a ten, but you gave Aaron Gordon a nine for the reason that you just demonstrated. Yeah. Um, I believe I tried that Dwayne to Wade the, the numbers up and, and I didn't get. I didn't do real good in math. Well, <laughs> so, <laughs> by the way, the you end. weren't the only one who switched. So yeah. Dwayne Wade also went from a ten to a nine, yeah. I believe, right? Yeah. yeah. And then there was a, someone switch from and the, nine. And then there was actually the Prince tried, of Wakanda. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. We actually yeah. tried to switch it to make it a tie. Right. And the machines locked us out. That's wow. <laughs> oh, so I'm after after you guys punched it up, you were punched like, wait, in, let's and change we it. Were like, and yeah, and it was the, the machines locked that us out. That was it. And that was it. That I, was I'm going to just say this. I have no problem with Scottie Pippen mm -hmm. giving that dunk a nine. I have no problem with Dwayne Wade giving that dunk a nine. And if Candace Parker had given him a nine, I had no problem with that as well. But when Avengers Endgame goes there and gives a nine, <laughs> nah. I know he's a, a family member of the Disney family, but Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> Did he give a nine? He, he gave a nine. Time. He gave a nine. Run the tape. He yeah, gave okay. a nine. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm getting everyone's scores wrong. But yeah, he, he gave a nine. And I'm, that's, that's the part where I'm like, what are we doing? What are we doing? You and Aaron I, Gordon. I am anti celebrities being you judges guys, on I'm going to be honest. It was so much pressure on the judges yes. after it kept going that yes. we knew like... it needed to be a tie. But. How could we keep our numbers running? Right. We had to look and figure out. I will say this. Is Michael B. Jordan would have had the right score. That's everybody, what everybody, <laughs> when you guys judged on contests, and you guys are certainly not the first group, there is a lot of, hey, what are we giving this? What are we giving that? Yes. There would be something to be said for you guys being allowed to make a collective decision, and then once you guys huddle, one of you putting whatever the combined number should be. That could be something that happens in the dunk contest at some time, maybe. Who knows? This investigation is closed. Yeah. We now know the truth, thanks to Scotty Pippen. Samuel Jackson got it right, too. And doing the right thing. Thank no you, Scott. No appeals. Boom, there we go. <laughs> Up next, whose game is hotter right now? Russell Westbrook or Jason Tatum? They face off tomorrow on ABC. Find out our picks. But first, time for our second distant replay of the day. This one, this date, 2006. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's Come on. Come on. Come on. Ageless Wonder. <laughs> we did this for you, I mean. Yeah. This is for you. Oh, I remember this one. Harris, two on one. Harris, the line. Tell me that was not one of the two best things to happen on this day, because it was.